Welcome back to another episode of Rob Sports Center, man. As you can see by the title, yes, this video is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm going to be addressing the Noah Lyle situation. So um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, like I've just, for whatever reason, been pulled and gravitating towards track because I just feel like track just been jumping, you know, in terms of watching that um, spread documentary on Netflix, but just keeping up with everything that's going on uh, with the Olympics, period. So I see that Noah Lyles came up short in uh, the 200 meter race. And I seen that he was saying that it was due to him having COVID um, and things of that nature. Now, granted, I'm glad I did watch the documentary because I knew I know that at one point Noah Lyles was, you know, he did have asthma. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying that he's lying. But the thing is this, right? With a lot of Noah Lyles success came confidence. I wouldn't necessarily say it was arrogance. I never really looked at it as arrogance. Like my thing is this. This is how I look at it. You know, I look at it like if I work this hard and I'm training hard and I'm putting in, the, I'm putting in the work, but then I'm getting the results. I ain't just talking. I'm backing it up. That's not trash talk. I mean, that's what we've seen Conor McGregor do. That's what we've seen Floyd Mayweather do. I mean, if you want to go back before time, we've seen Muhammad Ali do it. And if you know anything about Mike Tyson, look at any Mike Tyson interview, Mike Tyson done it. It's like you're not working that hard to say nobody else is better than you. You know what I mean? It's not. That's like how people had a problem with Floyd saying TBE, you know, because he's saying he was the best ever. I got to have that mindset if I if I strive to be that. I'm not saying I'm better than Muhammad. I'm not saying I'm better than Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson. I'm not saying I'm better than all those guys. I'm just saying that's how I view myself. I'm, in, I'm up there with them. You know what I mean? So with Noah Lyles, I, I've been defending him a lot because a lot of people have been like, oh, man, he's arrogant. Oh, I can't stand him. Like I called my dad uh, the other day. Well, my dad called me and said, man, you seen what happened to Noah? And, you know, he was kind of, you know, happy, hope, happy, happy or hoping it happened. I was like, man, nah, man, you know, dude, work hard. And then my dad's like, yeah. And then even some of my coworkers. But then I go and I see this, him saying that he had, you know, that he had COVID. And my thing is this is like I, I look at how he came out there. Right. When you look at the Michael Jordan flu game, did Michael Jordan come out there just bouncing up and down full of energy? You've seen it in his in, in everything from pregame, even up to the actual game. When you go back and look at Noel Owls in the 200, Noel Owls came out hype, you know, you know, being a, um, being a showman like he is. He come out, ah, you know, basically saying, you know, doing what he what we know that he does. So when you come up short of the goal, you have to be able to be, you know, confident. In what you do, but you got to also have some type of humility to you to be like, okay, cool. You know what? Hats off to whoever the guy was, the number the guy that beat me. Uh, he's a good, he's a good runner. I came up short. There's things that I feel I could have done better, and I am gonna perfect going into it next time to where I get a different result. But at the end of the day, because to me, that's not a knock against Noah Lyles' legacy. Noah Lyles is still Noah Lyles. Like we gotta understand, and I, I seen Shakari Richardson, she said something about this in the Netflix documentary. I'm not going to get on here and call Noah Lyles a bum or I'm not going to get on here and pray and beat and celebrate because he can't he didn't come in first. You know, what I mean, we got to understand and we got to give athletes a respect. I'm a former athlete, so I know what it takes to get to that level. You know, what I mean, the type of uh, physical abuse you put on your body and not just physical, but mentally, you know what I mean? Because it's a lot of work that, that takes to get there. So we got to respect these people and, to, and treat them as such as people. At the end of the day, they're athletes. We got our favorite athletes and we got athletes that we don't necessarily like. I look at sports like a level of art. You know, it's up to interpretation. Do you, what you like, I might not like. And what, what you like, I'm, you know, it, it's going to be different, right? So we have to treat them with some level of respect, but that I don't like in terms of the excuse making. You know what I mean? Like even when we look at with the when you looked at Terrence Crawford, if any of you guys are familiar with boxing, when Terrence Crawford dominated Earl Spence, everybody was like, oh, that ain't the same Earl Spence, man. He ain't been the same since he had the car. I was like, see, there y'all go with these excuses and y'all downplaying Terrence Crawford's greatness. You know what I mean? When I what I looked at when I seen that fight, I seen the same Spence that I seen before the car with. The same fit, slow feet, you barely utilized head movement. Uh like that's what I seen. That's what. So what I seen then and what I seen now, it was the same. The only difference was the person that he was going up against. That was, that was the deciding factor and the difference. You know what I mean? And like I said, in this video, it's not the badge Noah Lyles. I'm not coming on here and celebrating his failure. You know, I want to see Noah Lyles as, all, as well as all athletes, you know, succeed because, man, these guys put a lot of work in, you know, but at the end of the day, unfortunately, there has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, he still has done his thing in the 100. Um, he was attempting to uh, achieve greatness, and sometimes you fall short of it. But that don't mean that you stop. That, that's what, that's what like, it's all about resilience. You know what I mean? All it takes, people don't, people don't pay attention to the failure. 
People pay attention to the win. How many races did you say Bo probably lose at, throughout when he was coming up? I'm talking about from a kid all the way to an adult. But everybody think about the nine five, the hundred. You know, everybody think about the 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 time he set in the two hundred. You see what I'm saying? So that's just my that was my brief take on. It. I kind of want to touch on that. Um, no allows man, you you're still a phenomenal sprinter. Uh, he's still one of the fastest men in the world, you know, and I do look forward to seeing you compete in the future. And I don't want you to take a step back in terms of how you view yourself. Forget what the media or for what anybody is saying. You know, you are still you regardless of what happened. You know what I mean? Same thing with your car Richardson, man. You still you regardless of what happened. Don't pay attention to these people here. Pay attention to what you think of yourself and what the people in your circle think of you. You know, but that's just my take on that. But um, that is it for this video, man. If you got, let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know what I mean? I'll be looking forward to the debate thing. You know what I mean? Like I always say on my podcast channel, you know, iron sharp and iron steel, sharp and steel. So we got to keep each other on point. So um, let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. But if you enjoyed this video, do me a a big favor man smash that thumbs up button also if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and when you subscribe click that post notification bell where you'll be notified on all things raw sports center because you like the goat drizzy jakes the goat drizzy drake say my bad i got these videos coming back to back man i'll see y'all in this video i'm out this thing peace